Hi everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Ultimate Fusion. This is the fifth video and no, there still isn't a download link. When there is one, it will be in the description. I promise. I'll put it in every single episode too. It won't just be in the latest one. It'll be in every single episode of the series, okay? I promise when there's a public download, you will know. And I usually don't do this, uh, but if you guys could uh, just check the subscribe button. Uh, we're actually closing in on 400,000 subscribers, which I think the last time I gained a 100,000, I think I think I had 300K back in 2017. So it's been a while <laughs> since the channel's really grown much. So yeah, uh, just make sure you're subscribed. Help me hit 400K. That would be awesome. Uh, as for now, uh, we're going to go to... I, I said I was going to reevaluate my team, didn't I? Well, I lied. I didn't. I'll go have a look at the box really quick though see what we're rocking with but as for now you guys should be rocking with the like button we fed lotad 3000 burritos well we haven't fed them to him yet but uh uh you guys gotta help me get rich because i i, I checked on taco bell for for 98 burritos 328 dollars and we've, we've got to feed him 3000 so um if you want that i fed my editor 3000 burritos video <laughs> you're gonna have to help me get rich it's it's all on you now people that didn't watch the last video are just so confused right now they're like dude why is he talking about burritos i had a craving okay wait this thing's just a pure grass type okay weird champ i have a very important mission today uh, I, I know exactly i know one mon i definitely want to use on the team uh, i mean yeah, i don't know why i named it that <laughs> average league of legends player why did i name it that what was i trying to say so we should be getting some evolutions this episode i imagine this well i imagine the entire team this entire five should evolve so that's fine and there is one pokemon i want to add but i guess who can i bring with me in the meantime number 15 burger king foot lettuce the last thing you want in your burger king burger we've not seen the evolution to this yet i feel like we should have by now aha uh -huh. yes level 22 all right what are we looking like pidgeotto and golbat fused okay it's still got pidgeotto's body with golbat's wings okay all right you know what pretty safe pretty safe i don't hate it i'll bring it with me for now so we got surf now which opens up the region quite a bit and yeah just straight up any pokemon can learn it i think we'll give it to ronald because i mean it is fused with a shallows and shallows can learn surf so i think that's fair although all of my moves are kind of goaded rock throw ember yawn or eh, you, you know I'll, I'll get rid of mudslap fuck it dude i've got mudslap on top if need be all right autobots roll out a movie i've been meaning to watch for literal years now is that bumblebee movie because bumblebee is my favorite transformer and john cena's in it and i just i have never watched it i i don't know when it came out but that's how i've been meaning to watch it for that many years it's like i want to watch it but i also i just I just don't care enough to boot it up and watch it. I don't know if anyone else is like this. I don't know if it's just an ADHD thing or what. It's hard to, to tell. I'm curious if anyone else. I mean, I'm, even if you don't have ADHD, you can experience ADHD things, right? But I never want to actually start anything like because I, I worry that it's going to be a waste of time or like I won't enjoy it or and, but I know for a fact as soon as I start watching it, like for example, the other night I watched Brave, the movie Brave, never seen it before. It's a Scottish movie, animated movie. Watched that with Sky. I, I, the whole time I was like, I really just don't want to watch it, but I know if I do, I will enjoy it. I just, I just, I don't know why. I just couldn't get myself in the mood to do it. But we watched it. I enjoyed it a lot, and uh, it's, just, it's just weird. I just, I just don't want to do because I've, I've just got this weird like I have to maximize my productivity at all times. There was a period where I was like watching TV shows while recording videos. I think it was like it was like a series where like I was shiny hunting in, so like I would just watch like Netflix while I was shiny hunting and waiting for the encounter because the shiny odds are like one in a hundred. Just gotta maximize my time on this earth, bro. I can't, I can't. And ever chill so yeah we've got to catch some pokemon we're reading pokedex entries tentacans they're a threat in beaches because that's where they usually live and they like stinging swimmers and it's said sting is very poisonous oh wait i just realized something uh, I'll, I'll wait i'll wait i remember last episode we looked at the fact that we could get the polywag in the wild the polywag starter and i want to go get it but also like i don't have fly yet dude i literally just got smoked by this wild this wild i, I was trying to run away and i just got fucking wrapped confused poisoned like fuck you hit myself in confusion at any turn all right toff is the leader toff's the fastest pokemon it would be so sexy if i could learn moves other than mud slap and absorb while my opponents have moves like fire blast <laughs> in meteor mash and flamethrower and heat wave oh we're learning leaf blade wow complain and you shall you shall receive i totally didn't know i mean i knew that grovile learned he leaf blade but I it, I it wasn't on my mind i promise my videos aren't scripted you can tell when my videos are scripted bro i talk like a fucking bot i've heard of like youtubers buying like mods from from like i guess mod hackers like buying custom mods and like buying like 
early access to those mods before it goes public i should just start doing that with rom hack bro like i should be like yo give me early access to this rom hack and i'll give you two pound fifty and a 99p ice cream a 99 flake i got early access to this rom for free by accident oh <laughs> wait star poke oh my god he's he's trapped let him out why is he in there what the fuck let him out we're learning dig now bro i probably should have kept mud slap and just got rid of fury cutter like who the fuck uses fury cutter i think i just really like fury cutter because i just i love the concept of it it just gets stronger every time you land but there's like a five percent chance you miss like that's just so cool to me it just makes my brain purr Ooh. oh 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 see what i'm saying Horsey is a is a seahorse fused with ponyta, which is a pony horse. Mmm, very cool. I like this a lot. That's really, really cute. Yeah, this guy is definitely doing this on purpose. Spoink and Mankey are fused because Mankey is a pig monkey. Someone was like in my replies on Twitter because I tweeted about the, the whole ordeal. Someone was like, would you call a lionfish a lion? Yeah, in the context of fusing like Pyroar and like a lionfish Pokemon, I'd be like, hmm, they fused them because Pyroar is a lion and the lionfish is a lionfish. That's the context of it. I'm not saying, my, I said in the video, yeah, Mankey's a pig. I, I was just, I was just talking fast I, I wasn't being fully descriptive whatever dude more engagement for me i just picked up a rare candy i have to use it asap but yeah in, in the context of things yeah if there was a lionfish pokemon and it fused with the lion pokemon then yeah that that's the connection they're both lions in some way uh, duh. actually i'll uh let me level up ronald oh my god they came out with a dicks manetric and lucario fused i think manetric's head's a little bit awkward it is what it is why do you just have two of these all right let me drop a rare candy on your ass donald please evolve fuck i feel like ligma evolves at like level 37 i'm gonna look it up right now i'm so stop being lazy slugma evolves at level 38 fuck i was one level off oh tentabog okay i don't even bother evolving it that looks fucking dope dude I got rid of his little nose pincer thing and it's yeah oh that's creepy dude that that is genuinely scary imagine that just fucking emerging out of the ocean I'm just gonna fucking ew, that's 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 disgusting that's that's so good someone commented on like one of my videos he was like i like these fusions but his opinions are trash or something and i'm just like and then and then went on to say sorry i'm trying to remember i removed his comment because it was i responded to him and didn't respond back so i'm like okay fuck you you're just being a dick basically he was just like dude the guy put a lot of work into this game and you're just giving your opinion on them and you can have your opinion but also your opinion's trash and i'm just so what what do you want from me do you want just a, a silent walkthrough go watch someone else then <laughs> i'm gonna talk and be honest i'm not just gonna be like oh my god i love this to everything and just give no feedback i mean i've watched my last series i literally i've i've humbled myself plenty i constantly remind you guys that i'm just a dude my opinion isn't greater than anyone else's just because i think a fusion looks bad it doesn't mean it does listen i don't like arcanine arcanine is so many people's favorite pokemon i don't like it <laughs> i don't like arcanine i think it's very boring hisui and arcanine's poggers regular arcanine is just boring he's just a big fluffy dog okay cool whatever so many people love arcanine my opinion isn't gospel dude i've got weird taste in pokemon on. I think this thing looks amazing. <laughs> like I mentioned at the start, my channel's been growing a little bit more lately, and um, it's just weird because I think for the, the past few years, I've, I've not really been obtaining that many new viewers. I feel like there's a lot of new eyes on the channel, which... Uh... <laughs> people aren't you know there's a lot of new eyes on the channel so i'm getting a lot more comments and I'm, I'm having to deal with like just fucking idiots again i've not had to deal with idiots in so long this is a long ass route huh do you evolve a level 30 i believe you do right fuck dude what are levels <gasps> i just had a realization realize 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 talk to this fucking geezer right here give me the bastard key thank you all right baby you know what we're looking for not you but i mean i haven't called you yet so sure it is always considered as a fruit but nobody knows why just like tomatoes its spikes can be detached and launched dude this thing is metal a fruit a fruit oh okay this is what we're here for yes all right, Voltu. After many years, its wool evolved to resemble a Pokeball. It's capable to put its face and limbs inside the wool to look like a Pokeball. Oh, wow. Okay. That's so it's like a crab. Wait, no, a turtle. Yeah, I think that's a turtle, right? Turtles do that. All right. Oh, oh, yeah. I've already seen this. Yeah, I was like confused. They are very strange life forms that have existed for hundreds of years before humanity. Each one of its heads has a brain of its own. So it has two brains. So one of these is an electrode. Um, it's this one. So we're going to get to see what dub wool and electrode are fused like. Uh, oh, okay. No, it's it's not. It's Wooloo. Wait, did they not do electrode in this game? I guess electrodes later. That means I can train one without being spoiled. Oh my god. Yo, give me Thunderbolt. Thanks, Omi. So just everyone can learn it. That's kind of insane. I don't know if TMs are permanent in this game. I feel as if they are not. Okay, TMs are not 
not permanent. I'll use Thunderbolt later. Ah, he does evolve a level 30. Okay. I was going to level up everyone up to level 30. We're getting ourselves a uh, dub, uh, dub trode. I'm a, oh, okay. It's Dubwool's body. Probably just going to be uh, upside down red and white. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Got some detail going on here. Okay. Electra wool. Okay. Cool. I, that's, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I don't like dub wool, but fuck it, man. All right, this damn Shallows needs to evolve. What the fuck am I looking at? I mean, I know it's Pinsir and Dueladon, but like, okay, that that caught me though. That, that really caught me off guard, bro. Why why these two? That's interesting for sure, though. Very interesting. Whoa, Umbreon and Absol. Dude, the Furry is going to go crazy for this one. That Umbreon and Absol fusion look like someone's OC. Oh my God, Gloovisor. What a name. It looks really good, man. Really, 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 really well fused. I love the colors, everything about it just it fits so well looks natural looks like a, it looks like a pokemon carrying such a huge flower really tires them out that's why they always look sleepy it's flower can shoot toxic pollen that's cool i really need to fly i'm, I'm tired of running around i can't get over the little smile on this thing all right level 36 should be getting to see the big boy now i'm so ready dude I don't know if they can top this. This pose is so raw, dude. He's just got his arms folded. He's pissed off. I love him. Uh, can they top it? Ooh. Ooh, that body proportion looks a little awkward. Big ass crocodile head, skinny septile body. <sighs> uh we're gonna see Ah, uh, okay it's a bit it's a bit strange yeah the middle evolution is definitely the best i think his head's just a bit too big like bro carrying that massive fucking noggin around has got to hurt your hurt your back right just needs a little bit of love intimidate grass grown type finally a good grass grown type what do you mean torterra exists look at that back sprite bro yeah there's something off about it i think it might be his head his head is just a bit too big what the fuck bro why is he why is he in there why is he in there? Its shell isn't actually a part of its body. It's 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 its home, but it also serves as a shield in battle to protect it. It only gets out of it to collect berries. So it's literally just a lanoon living inside of a cloister. God, I wish that were me. Whoa, Sir Skling, Sir Sir and Chingling. Wow, they look. They just look. This looks like a normal Pokemon. This thing looks so funny. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my days, dude. What am I looking at? Oh, lordy lord. Bro. Oh my god. That, that genuinely gave me like shivers down my spine. What the fuck is this? This is terrifying. This is a monster. Oh my god, dude. This is too scary. Um, these guys really have no new Pokemon, huh? Admin Shelly, you're boring. Cast form. Oh, cast form and spirit team? Holy shit. What the fuck? Fuck. What are we looking like, little man? Ghost normal! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Ghost normal supremacy, baby! Let's go! Yo, I was like, where's the cast form? I see it now. Oh my god, okay. And has shadow tag as well. That's not even one of Spiritomb's abilities. That's insane. Dude, this creator literally was like, yo, got to make the ghost normal types. Sorry, Dubwool. Got a new kid on the block. I'm kidding. I'll, I'll maybe use it, but I actually want to, uh, I want to evolve this. I want to see what the Shedinja looks like. Wait, actually, you need to have a spare Pokeball, right? I just have Great Balls. I don't know if they count. So let's try this. All right, we got this Goofy boy. Okay, I did. It did count. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's so cool. Oh my God. That's so cool. Cool. Wonder Guard Rock Ghost type. It's literally a Cursula. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, that makes that makes so much sense. This is such a good. This is just conceptually so good. So what's a week to fucking water, grass, dark, ghost? Lots of weaknesses, but it's it, it's cool nonetheless. Slow as fuck too. All right, there's some wild Pokemon in here I want to find. Actually, the wild Pokemon I had in mind is uh, it's a static Pokemon, so I should find it anyway. Then the Feebas fusion apparently lives here, but I don't know if it's like fishing rod or if it's like you know surfing or if it's like the old Feebas method. I'll try and fish one up. Oh, this is the worst fishing mechanic. Oh, a bite. I got. I hate, dude. This is garbage. This is this is literally garbage. Oh, a bite. A Pokemon is on hook. Okay, okay. It's this little fucker. I haven't caught it yet, so they're really weak, but they're able to survive in any type of water without any issue it's recommended do not touch their poison in this body dude this is so fun i love this so good what a, what a good use of my time if i speed up then i can miss the oh i got a bite oh i, I got a bite my reaction time sucks too cool give me the feebas please no okay I really hope it's not the fucking old method of getting Feebas, because if that's the case, I will never get it. I am far too stupid for that. Oh, wait, new Pokemon. They appear in huge groups, and they can flip over huge boats just with their pin their punches. They're very aggressive. Strong boys. Yeah, I can't find anything by fishing. I'm probably being too impatient. I just I just hate that fishing mechanic. It's so garbage. All right, rifle battle where we get fly. Let's go. Oh, there we go. I was literally thinking earlier how we hadn't seen this yet. Oh my god, he's... 
Why is he built? Dude, how does his little legs carry that big ass body? To be fair, most of it is hollow. He got no brain. His beak is empty. Yeah, we got this. And then still got this. Okay. Kind of a loser trainer, to be honest. Man's learning Shadow Ball. Jesus. Okay. Hey, finally, we're getting an evolution. I guess this thing evolves at 32 instead of 30, which, which I thought which I thought it was. So then I guess it evolves at 42 afterwards for Agron. Uh, we're getting Leron and Dragonair. Okay interesting it's a, it's a dragon air with a mask mask on fuck it mask off layering air nothing too different than uh than the than the agron uh, the aron sorry my team just looks like a whole bunch of misfits dude like look at these guys anyways i had one goal this episode not this but i'll catch one they roam around in the shadows and they attack with their incredible strength they're usually the leaders of gangs alongside some Puchitos. Big furry dinosaur. Now, I didn't want you, but I mean, yeah, sure. This is literally just dark type incarnate. This is the final boss of dark type Pokemon. I don't have any more balls. Fuck you. Wasting my damn time. This is what I'm looking for. It's said that their body is a disguise to hide its frightening real form, but nobody has seen it to confirm that just yet definitely want to use this all right let's catch the emo boy it's only active at night the yellow circles all over its body glow whenever danger is near for that reason they're popular as pets thank you steven for showing me this fine young man its wool has special properties that allow it to blend with the surroundings by changing its colors he looks so awkward well i was fairly confident we'd be evolving a lot of the team today but uh i guess their evolution levels are just a bit higher than i anticipated this thing probably evolves like 4a yeah it'll be a little while this thing will evolve in three levels we already know what it looks like it's not a big deal we have yet another normal ghost type right here ghost normal immunity uh I want to use this thing so bad. I don't know. Comments, I want you to let me know. Should I use this thing, Cast Tomb, or should I use this thing, Zang Mim Zang Mim Mimikyu? Zam Mikyu. If I do use this, I might end up catching a different one. This one's got a bad nature. I know natures don't matter, but like, I care. Before we end today's episode, though, I'm going to do some testing. I'm going to evolve some Pokemon, potentially. Do you evolve, Mukbang? You do evolve. So it's going to be like a Gyarados fusion, fused with, fused with what? I Drapion, I guess. Oh, whoa, well, my day is size. Wow. Gyaru Rupee. Gyarados and Skarupi, I guess. I mean, it, that's an interesting shape. I wonder if it evolves beyond this. Where's, where's, uh, <laughs> where's Drapion? Uh, according to the Pokedex, that is, uh, all it has. So, um, sure. Interesting. Is this like a backwards? Is this like a backwards fusion? Interesting. Do you evolve 100 Kex? You do not evolve. There is space after you in the Pokedex to prove me wrong, though. Where do I get this? Okay, further ahead. I'm going to see what Sharpedo and uh, Crabominable uh, looks like. Not really a huge fan of these uh, these Pokemon. So, um, yeah, okay. He's got a... Yep, he's a Crabominable with a Sharpedo for a body. What a, an abomination of a Pokemon. Now, I picked up a Leaf Stone earlier. It does evolve you. Wow, was I lied to about every Pokemon evolving with by level up in this game oh shit okay i guess that's like the blossom form oh my god that's so cool that's so cool what the fuck i love that how does it move i love that though that's so awesome i guess the vile blue must be level up evolution grass poison dope dude dope pokemon aha i knew cacturn evolved to level 32 what are you looking like oh shit that body shape looks kind of insane that silhouette looks kind of nutty oh baby that actually looks fucking awesome there's it's, it could use a little bit of work in some spots but that looks that looks dope dude now that i've evolved some pokemon i gotta read some pokedex entries oh wait i never read this did i it was created from the souls of 108 people that died during extreme weather conditions it is limited by its rock that's that's cool that's a cool reason to exist its wings are surprisingly strong due to them having to carry such a heavy exoskeleton it finally became fast as it dreamed. It's the cocoon of Ninkorsula left behind after evolving. The spirit that possesses this Pokemon's back is actually a haunted foam. They are extremely violent and aggressive. Its bites are very poisonous and they can cause you immense pain if not treated quickly. Its two tails store water that it sprays all over itself when it starts getting dry. Now it prefers using its arms more, which... Which arms? Oh, I guess his... Okay. He likes his arms more than his tails. Fair. It may look intimidating, but it is not aggressive. It's extremely loyal to its trainer, and it will fight until the death. If it means its trainer will be safe. It's very experienced flyer. It is capable of carrying two people in its bag easily. It is considered the default flying transportation in the Hoenn region. Well... That's my flying type. The pearls on its body are very valuable and hunters are constantly looking for Lairanaires to slay down to win a quick buck. Assholes. It is capable of attacking with its horns. It usually moves by putting its whole body inside of its wool and rolling around at the speed of... The speed of wool? <laughs> this creature just wants to die. Please put it out of its misery. 
What? It looks so happy though. What do you mean? What the fuck? Now they prefer living in cold areas. They tend to be used in many low budget horror movies of questionable quality. Are they mocking Jaws? It's always expressionless, so it's not known that they can feel anything. They can turn you into a statue just by looking at their eyes. Oh my God. Spooky boy. Yeah, it just occurred to me. I, I hadn't been reading a lot of the Pokemon I had evolved because I'm an idiot and I forget. Its body got a completely new metallic coat, leaving behind its roots as a plant. Its pincers can crush boulders without much efforts. While Bonter is actually just a black tail, the rest of it is just a bait to spook other Pokemon. It can control its hands with its powerful mind. Okay, cool. I think that's all of them. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and call that an episode there. Thank you all so much for watching as always. Tune in next time. We're going to be uh, catching more Pokemon, evolving more Pokemon, continuing the game. You know the vibes. Appreciate you. Uh, check out this video right here if you want to watch more fusion content from me. And uh, have a good rest of your day. Or night. Whatever. Whatever time zone you live in.